this is the witch's bomb and I will be doing this video on my YouTube channel uh, go check it out if you are not following me on San Sisto Grupo Luis go check it out uh, the full video will be there this is on a uh, uh, the witch's bomb la bomba de la bruja or la bomba as it is, as it is known in brujería in Puerto Rico in Cuba and in Venezuela la bomba brujería or la, la, la bomba de la bruja the witch's bomb This plant right here is known in Spanish as Yerba Mora. Uh, yerba Mora in English is known as Nightshade. A relative of Belladonna. So you can see the bugs, uh, the bugs enjoy it. I'm going to gather some Yerba Mora. This is from my own garden. So Yerba Mora is Nightshade. And gather some of this for this trabajo, this work. I'm gonna go over here, and right here, this one is Espanta Muerto. Espanta Muerto. And I'm also gonna gather some of this, and I might gather a little bit of Epazote. But this is Espanta Muerto. A pasote, and again over here, yerba mora or nightshade, a relative of the poisonous belladonna. So I'm going to gather some of that herbs for my trabajo. Whenever dealing with nightshade, any form of nightshade, belladonna or anything, be careful, they are very poisonous, okay? So handle very carefully. Uh, nightshade is, a, is ruled by the planet Saturn, and it is sacred uh, to the goddess Hecate. So I'm gonna gather some yelba mora. Again, nightshade, this is it right here. So I'm going to gather some of this for my trabajo. Again, ruled by Saturn. And it's used as a sacred herb to the goddess Hecate. Hecate. Now, Epazote, which is right here. Uh, this, is using, this is used in Spanish or Hispanic magic uh, to remove or to break hexes. I collect the seeds so that I can have you know, more herbs for next year. And Espanta, Espanta Muerto is used uh, to break hexes, to remove evil spirits. This is Espanta Muerto. To remove evil spirits, negative vibrations. It's a bitter herb. Um, it's in, I think, it's either in the daisy family or the sunflower. You, When you see the flower come up, it's a little little flower and it's called false daisy in English but we call it espanta muerto which means remove death in English and again epazote to break epazote which is this one is used uh, to break hexes to remove negative magic to cleanse and to purify so I'm gonna gather some of this espanta muerto I'm sorry this is espanta muerto this is epazote I'm going to gather these two, and lastly, I'm going to gather my yerba mora, or nightshade, and I'm going to gather them now for my video today, my spiritual work today, yerba mora, which is nightshade. Okay, so I got my scissors and my gloves, and I'm going to cut this epazote here because this is what I'm going to use. And the reason why I'm using gloves is because of the nightshade. It's poisonous to handle, so always handle. This is not nightshade, this is epazote. But since I'm gonna go, this is a panta muerto right here. So I'm just gonna get 
few sprigs of that for my trabajo. And now I'm gonna go to the nightshade right here. And I'm gonna just get a bit of it. Sorry. And this will be used for my trabajo that I'm doing today. I'm using gloves because you don't want to handle nightshade. It could be very poisonous, so. Here it is. So what you see here is some herbs that I picked up uh, midsummer, and I'm I dry them by the window and I, I cutting them down because they're ready to they're nice and dry and ready to package. So I want you to see that I'm the the herbs in my garden. I dry them up for future use during the fall and winter season, and I hang them by an eastern window to dry up. So these, these are some herbs that I picked up, what was it, uh, midsummer, and they're ready to package. This is a mussel in Spanish. We call this a mussel. So even though this is not part of the video, I'm going to show you how I gather my herbs in a higuera, or jicara. And I, these are used for baths, for baños, for cleansings, for purifying. Uh, I start in mid-August, I'm sorry, mid-summer, and then also in fall to gather all my herbs and dry them for the fall and the winter. So I know this is not part of the video, but I just wanted to show you uh, how I harvest my herbs for uses in baths and spiritual work and magical working. So about now, I'm sure everyone is wondering what type of a trabajo or work I am doing. I am doing a trabajo that's very popular in the Caribbean brujeria witchcraft tradition or system known as a bomba. A bomba means a bomb, okay? Now this is used uh, to remove someone who's negative in your life, someone who's harmful, someone who's violent, someone who's trying to hurt you. This is never used on anyone innocent. This could be used uh, for a person who's trying to harm you or for a situation that you need to control that is harming you, okay? Uh, very popular in Latino cultures, and I'm just going to show you some of the ingredients that I'm going to use. Every person uh, does La Bomba very different. Some are very similar ingredients. Some people will d use other ingredients that I might not have here. Uh, and I'll explain what ingredients I'm going to use first. Uh, and then give you variations of what, the, what other ingredients other people may use. So, let's get started. The first thing is... You want to write the, let's say it's an individual. Well, first of all, you want a bottle, okay? You want a, a dark colored bottle. In Puerto Rico, we use a Malta. Malta is a, a malt drink that is very popular in Puerto Rico and in Cuba. It looks like a beer bottle, or you can use a beer bottle. You want a dark colored bottle, okay? Uh, now, I'm just going to show you a just made up name. I, I, I wrote Wando. Okay, and if you see, I wrote it horizontally and vertically because what, what you want to do, if it's a person, you want to write it three times, one do, one do, one do, whatever the name of the person is, and then okay, vertically and then horizontally, one do, one do, one do, but it's supposed to look like this, like if you're crossing it, okay? If it is an individual, uh, you want to do that, um, and you want to, if you can get the birth date of the person or anything that may be of the person, that would be perfect, okay? And usually, well, this is just an example, okay? I'm just showing you an example for this trabajo. It is folded away from you three times, okay? So what I'm showing you again is when you're doing this trabajo, you want this person or this situation away from you. So you're going to take the piece of paper and you see the crease? I'm here and you want to away from you. Vaya, away from you. Again, away from you. And again, this way, yeah, away from you. I'm just giving you an example 
because here's the piece of paper that I'm using for this trabajo. Now let me show you some ingredients that I'm going to use for this trabajo. For this bomba. Okay, I have a, a glove because remember that I had picked up some uh, yelba mora or nightshade that's very toxic. So you want to make sure that you use uh, gloves when dealing with any herb, any root, uh, anything that can be toxic or uh, could be harmful for you. Okay, you want to use nine rusted nails. You want to have red and black candles because this trabajo you're going to do for nine consecutive days and you want to start somewhere after the full moon and you want to make sure that this trabajo is finished by the new moon. Now from the full moon to the new moon there's 15 days so you have within those 15 days you have to do this for nine days and the best day to do this trabajo would be either on a Saturday Saturno, or on a um, Tuesday, El Dia de Martes, the God of War, Mars. Okay, so here I have a tobacco that was used by un Espiritu Congo in a Misa Espiritual, and I kept it for this trabajo. Okay, now here in this Higuera. I have the herbs that I had picked earlier. Right here we have epazote, uh, we have yelba mora. Yelba mora is nightshade. And which one was the third one? There was epazote. Oh, el espanta muerto. Espanta muerto is also there. Okay. What do I have here? That is dog food, so ignore that. I'm going to use some sal negra for this trabajo. Okay. I'm going to use some hot food powder. Creolina, creolina or tar water can be used for this trabajo. Now, again, you do not, this is a dirt from a cementerio, okay? When you pick up dirt from the cementerio, you must uh, first pray to El Baron de Cementerio, pay homage. You do not take anything from the cemetery uh, without giving honor and respects to the cementerio, leaving some flowers and some derecho or an offering at a tomb, okay? So do not take any dirt or anything without first paying El Baron de Cementerio and leaving an offering at a tomb that has been forgotten, whether it be liquor, flowers, or whatever it may be. Uh, we have uh, Barba del Viejo, or Spanish moss. I have, and I'm, hopefully I'm not forgetting, right? some poja um, coffee grinds from this morning's coffee. We have some, this is also toxic. This is a uh, monk's hood. So I'm just going to use one monk's hood root. Okay, uh, monkshood is also known as, uh, well, the, the plant itself, this is the root. The plant is known as wolfsbane. Okay, here I have some uh, Four Thieves vinegar, vinagre de cuatro ladrones, Four Thieves vinegar that I'm going to add to it, and agua de guerra, war water. And black pepper. Now, this is what I'm going to use. Some people will use different ingredients for la bomba. Okay, uh, I know some people will use pica pica, which is uh, in English is known as cow's itch. Uh, that irritates the skin. I know people will use that. They will use urine. They will use uh, blood. Um, some will use a uh, dirt where animals fought, like dogs may have fought. Um, uh, dog fetus, whatever, you know, everyone does la bomba different, okay? But some people, there are many ingredients that are very similar. So first thing that you do, and I already have this preparado, and let me get that piece of paper because I seem to have lost it, is to get that paper inside la botella. Okay, give me a second. So here's my dummy paper, and I lit the tobacco, and usually what we do is we sprinkle some of the semisa, some of the ashes in here. Some people will crush up pumpkin seeds, place it in here. Uh, some people will use pica pica, which is known as 
cows itch. Uh, they will use different herbs. Uh, some people will, add, like I said, tobacco. It could be from a cigarillo. This cigarro was used from a Congo spirit, and he didn't smoke at all in a misa espiritual that I was in. So I just relit it, and I'm just adding the ashes. This is just an example because I had already prepared this one. And like I said, some people will add pica pica. Some people will add a burnt a pumpkin seeds here, a, whatever they want to. And then they cross it, okay? Some people actually even spit into the piece of paper, okay? This is, again, you should never do this to an innocent person or just because you wanna get vindictive to anybody. Remember that this is very dangerous. Uh, this is when a situation is out of control and you need to remove yourself from this situation. So this is just the dummy. Here's the real one. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to place it into La Botella. Okay, and it is inside the brown bottle, which will become the base for my bomba. So there really isn't no specific order how to do a una bomba. Okay, uh, everyone will do place ingredients in a separate order. I'm going to add one monk's. And you see I have my gloves on because these are very toxic, okay? So please, when, when working with toxic herbs, uh, this is monk's uh, hood root. So you see, you can see it's not going to fit there. So I'm going to have to cut it in half and place that into my bottle. And again, this is a monk's hood. Uh, I think it's the root, also known as wolf's mane. So let me cut that up and place that into my bottle. So I crushed up that one monk's uh, old wolf thing, the monk's root, again with a club, a glove. Be careful, it's very toxic. I crushed it up with a mortar and pestle, and that's it. I'm just gonna put one. Please, if you're using your mortar and pestle, please wash this very well, okay? Be careful with using this afterwards, especially when you're using any toxic herbs or roots or anything like that, and you're gonna use it for anything else, please, I, I cannot stress so much, please wash this thoroughly. I'm placing this aside now. So again, in no specific order, I'm going to add my nine rusted nails. Some people will add a black or red pins, that's two, three, four, I'm going to say seis, <laughs> siete, ocho, y nueve, okay, I went into my bottle, okay, and you can see in there, some people will use pins, uh, the, the, those pins with the little uh, uh, rusted nails, anything like that that goes into the bottle again no specific order the next thing I'm going to do is add my herbs and here we have um, yelba mora yelba mora is the nightshade so I'm going to put some nightshade into the bottle again being very careful if you have pets and animals, this is very toxic. I cannot stress that so much. So just put three yelba mora. Three, uh, I'm gonna put four. Four, see these right here? These are, actually I'll put those in there too. I'm gonna put some of the seeds in there. Like again, everyone will do this very differently. I'm going to put, there's five right there. So everyone does that very differently. Please wear gloves. Again, I cannot stress this so much. I mean, just cut this because I'm going to have to cut this with the, uh, you can use the four leaves or four berries inside your bottle. If you have pets, please, please, please be careful, okay? So let me just do this carefully. So now that I have my yelba mora inside the bottle or nightshade, I'm going to put, Espanta Muerto, which is this one right here. I'm just going to put this whole ramita 
into the bottle like so let's get that in there okay it's easier to do it when you're not recording but I'm recording so it's gonna be a little difficult okay I want to get that in there and after that I'm gonna put my epazote okay and I'm just gonna fold el epazote up this is for protection, for removing black magic, for removing curses. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna put that right into my botella, and you can see everything's in there. It's a dark bottle, so you can't see much. Okay. Again, just please, if you have animals and uh, pets and little children. Please, please, safety first, okay? So, now that uh, the thing that's bothering me is in there, the ashes, some people, will, like I said, will have pica pica, which is cow's itch, um, ashes, pumpkin seeds, some will add uh, ammonia, spit, blood. This is done differently in every Latin country. I'm just showing you how I'm going to do it. The next thing I'm going to add is una cucharita or a spoon of sal negra. Now most of these ingredients I have prepared myself. So I'm going to be careful because I'm going to get this everywhere. And I've done this in a, a previous video. So I'm going to put my sal negra into my bottle. And I'm going to make a mess like I usually do. Okay. And the next thing is, always cover everything up, all right? I'm gonna add some hot foot powder, which I also made in a previous video. So I'm just gonna dabble or add just a few pinches of hot foot, hot foot powder into my botella or my bottle. Now that I've used all the poisonous stuff and, and, and all the toxin things, I'm going to take off the gloves. It's going to make it a little bit easier. Here you can see it. Wipe down the bottle a little bit um, and wash my hands very carefully. But you can see everything's inside there. And let me wipe down the bottle and show you the next step. So as I'm working, I'm carefully placing everything that I've already used away. Uh, and I wipe down the bottle as best as I can. Now I have some graveyard dirt or dust because I mixed it in with some herbs like pacholi and some other herbs in here. So I'm going to add some graveyard uh, dirt into the bottle. I'm going to have to do this very carefully. Actually, I'm going to do this over a sink. But this is going to go into that bottle. And here's my... And again, when you get dirt from the cemetery, you have to, uh, first of all, do it with respect. Leave an offering at the entrance of the cemetery. Uh, leave nine coins. Uh, wherever you gather dirt, you must leave a derecho. A derecho is an offering to a tomb that hasn't been, you know, no one has visited. So leave some flowers, leave some offerings of liquor, coins, uh, Okay, do not take anything from the cemetery without first giving a derecho. That's the way we do it in the Hispanic community. So I'm going to add the Tierra del Cementerio and always pay el Baron del Cementerio y la Baronesa, as we, you know, del Cementerio. So I'm going to add this to the bottle next. So now that the, the cemetery dirt is in there, I put three spoons one two or three i placed three spoons and again i removed it now i'm going to add some of the coffee grinds uh, from this morning's coffee la porra del cafe uh, you know that thing that you, when you make coffee this is going to go in here again you can add one two or three listen to your spirits they will guide you and that's going to go in there some people actually add at this moment they add dog fetus cat fetus, dirt from where uh, two animals fought, uh, where two, in Puerto Rico, where two roosters uh, fought, that dirt right there, they, they add it at this moment as well. So I'm going to add my cafecito, my porra de café, into the bottle. When I'm done, I will remove it and go to the next uh, you know, part of my trabajo. 
So again, I'm cleaning up as I go along, okay? And now I added uh, three spoons of grano de café. Now I'm gonna add barba del viejo. I'm gonna add three pinches. Uh, this is good for, for protection. Barba del viejo is Spanish moss. Good for protection, good for removing negative vibrations. So I took three, just three uh, handfuls. Well, not handfuls, but you know. And I'm gonna put that into la botella, into the bottle. So I got one. This is a lot, sometimes, a lot of times this is used, and they're together, so I'm just gonna throw them together. A lot of times this is used to uh, fill muñecos. Muñecos are like dolls, okay? Uh, to stuff them. So now I'm adding la barba del viejo, or the Spanish moss, which I collected in Puerto Rico. I shouldn't be putting my finger in there, okay? Now we're gonna go with the, the liquid, la creolina, okay? Creolina or a tar water, okay? Let me open this up, this is closed. This is creolina, you can pick this up at a Spanish bodega. Uh, in a botanica, you can look for la bomba santera, okay? They sell it in bo botanicas as la bomba santera or Creolina in a, a Spanish bodega. I'm gonna have to open it with uh, one hand. I'm gonna start adding my liquids. So here's la botella, and now I'm just gonna add some creolina. And again, if you cannot find creolina or tar water, you can find in a bot in a botanica bomba santera. You don't want to fill it all the way because you're gonna add more liquid to this bottle. Okay. So now my creolina or tar water is in there. I'm gonna add a little bit more. Now I'm gonna add, and I'm gonna cover this up as I go along. Make sure that's the lid to that. This is the lid to that. So now I'm going to add my vinagre, vinegar, Vinagre de Cuatro Ladrones. Vinegar of Fortis vinegar. Some people will add ammonia. Again, each bomba is done very differently. So here is my vinagre. Very potent smelling. So I'm going to carefully put this. I'm going to put uh, stop recording and I'm going to add this to my a bottle carefully. Okay, there you go. And the next thing I'm going to add is my agua leguera or my war water and i've made all of these in other videos i like to have all my products made myself if you can see i'm putting away everything as i'm using them i'm gonna shake it up and i'm gonna carefully add my agua leguera or war water into my botella and i'm as Pretty much up to here. So before, after this, I'm gonna add one more liquid. So let me add this. Agua de guerra, war water. Okay, so I added my war water into La Bomba. Some people will add, um, what do you call it? Uh, azufre, which is sulfur. Okay, I'm not adding azufre. Now this ingredient is a little nasty. <laughs> Urine. This is San Cisla with Holwis urine, and if you don't want to use your urine, you can add a, you can add vinagre. So carefully, I'm going to add all that into my bottle. Now you can see I still have some space left over, so I'm going to fill this up with the remainder of la agua de guerra, war water, because I want to fill this up just a little bit more. Before I close this bottle, I want to add, and you can see what it's starting to look like, I want to add some pinches of black pepper, pimienta negra, so I'm going to add some pimienta 
negra. Some people will add a ha habaneros or spicy peppers. I'm going to add three pinches into my bomba. I'm going to wash my hands every time. Every time I'm doing this, I, I'm, I'm literally washing my hands. Okay, and that's what it looks like. So here is my basic receta or formula para mi bomba. Put that away for my bomba. Here's the lid. Put everything away. And I'm going to cover it nice and tightly. Give it a good shake. Everything is in there. Now we're going to uh, work this bomba for seven to nine days. You want to start this uh, after the full moon when the moon begins to wane to new moon. So you have 15 days and the best day to start this would be on a Saturday or on a Tuesday, Sábado or Martes. Okay, please do not keep this botella within your house, this bottle within your house more than nine days or it will explode on yourself. This is to remove something negative from your life. You don't want it in your life, uh, a, a negative person, negative individual. Do not use this on anyone innocent, anyone that doesn't deserve it. Uh, this is only for dire when, when, when you've tried everything and uh, nothing works and you need to remove that person or that situation or that habit from your life and now you're going to work this botella for nine days nueve días now usually we divine to where we're going to uh, get rid of this botella uh some people will leave it in the cementerio, cemetery. Some people uh, with offerings, always with offerings. Some people will leave it at a crossroads. Uh, again, offerings to Papa Leba in the cemetery, to El Baron del Cementerio. Uh, some people will leave it under a tree where lightning uh, has struck, uh, where a bad accident has happened, or uh, where the river, where the water runs wild. Okay, and in each instant, uh, there must be the a derecho, an offering, a uh, left of coins, payment to the spirit for aiding in your trabajo, in your work. Okay, so now I'm going to show you the final process of uh, the la bomba. This is what we call la bomba in Puerto Rico, in Cuba. Uh, I think they use it also in Venezuela. Please do not leave this within your house more than nine days or it will explode on you. Okay? It will just explode and it's not it's not pretty. Okay? You can this can only be used on dire uh, circumstances. This is not something that you should be using all the time. Uh, People will start using it all the time, and sooner or later, that will explode on your face. It will definitely explode in your face. So only use this when in great need. If you have someone who's working black magic, trying to harm you, trying to destroy you, trying to, uh, or even if it's not just a person, an emotion, or whatever it may be. So anyways, now I'm going to show you the next step, which is with black and red candles. Okay. So here is la botella, or la bomba, and I have a skull with a protective uh, symbols on it, and I have it on a, a wooden birch pentacle, okay, now around it I have nine candles, these are the markings to let me know when this trabajo is done, when this work is done. You can see I have black, red, black, red, black, red, black, red, and black. Okay. I have some wooden matches here. And some black wooden matches. What I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, light this, uh, the first candle, and I'm going to recite. In, in Brujeria, we use a lot of Christian prayers, so I'm going to use a Un Padre Nuestro and Our Father y Un Dios Te Salve Maria and a Psalm. Okay, I'm going to use nine different Psalms for this trabajo. You can do this trabajo the way you feel, how it feels comfortable for you. 
I'm just going to use Los Salmos, okay? Uh, and I'm going to tell you what Psalms I'm going to use. These I'm going to light every night on the hour of 12 o'clock midnight. Uh, and as the moon is a waning, so after the full moon, you have 15 days. And you should get this job done within nine days. So this is the trabajo de la bomba which is bomb that I'm gonna be doing I have my my black and red candles around it my skull on top of my pentacle and my bomba right here so here are my three I like to use three wooden matches you can use as many as you want I have a candle to the side and I'm gonna light them and I'm going to light the first candle and we're going to start it counterclockwise. This trabajo, I'm going to do it counterclockwise. If I can light it, there you go. All right. So this is the first marking. I'm going to start with an Our Father, a Hail Mary, and then I'm going to use a Psalm. And I start this at 12 o'clock midnight. And the first one that I'm going to use is Psalm 17. So this candle will be dedicated to Psalm uh, 17. Again, the next following night at 12 o'clock midnight, uh, Our Father, uh, uh, Hail Mary. Then I'm going to say Psalm 35. Then we're going to go to the next one. And we're going to do the same thing with Psalm 37. Uh, again, Psalm 54, 55, 63, 58, 91, and 137. Make sure I have, let's see, let me make sure I have them all, uh, the nine Psalms. Give me one second. Yeah, so I'm making sure that I start with it at, at 12 midnight on Our Father, Hail Mary, and the first one is a Psalm 17. Then we have the Psalm 35 on the following day. The next one is uh, Psalm 37. The next one is Psalm 54. The next one is Psalm 55. The next one, the next one is Psalm 63. The next one is Psalm 58. Then we have Psalm 91 and Psalm 137. Each one with a Our Father and a Hail Mary, and I do this on the night after the full moon, as the moon is waning. Please do not leave this after this candle. This must be disposed of. I'm going to tell you a story. This I had prescribed to a, in the 90s, to a famous witch in Salem who had problems with some witches in Salem, Massachusetts who were cursing his, they were cursing his store. Now he was a well popular witch in Salem, Massachusetts, had a, a, a well known store in Salem, Massachusetts. So I told him to do this trabajo. I had brought down un muerto and the muerto had told him to do this trabajo. Uh, to get some uh, dirt from in front of the, the, the enemy stores and to place it into the bomba. Some, and some stuff that they had sprinkled in front of the store. I think it was like glitter stars or something like that. And he was supposed to do this for nine days and he was supposed to get rid of this after the nine days. After the nine days, his enemies moved away. And he kept the bomba. He kept the bomba with himself and it exploded. Sadly to say, the man lost his store. Uh, from what I heard, he became addicted to drugs. He was a well-known witch, uh, a priest of, I think it was the Wiccan religion. I'm not sure what, what it was. This was in the, in the 90s. Last I heard is he lost all credibility and his wife left him, his children left him. Um, and he was working in McDonald's. Actually, I, I found him one day. I went to McDonald's to order some food and there he was in McDonald's. And it broke my heart because I had instructed him, El Muerto, the Muerto that I had brought down, had instructed him, after the nine days, you must get rid of this bomba or it will explode in your face. So, here it is, 12 midnight, and I'm letting that candle go down completely. And each night I will say it, Our Father, a Hail Mary, and I will recite the psalm that will go with each one. And again, I said Psalm 17, Psalm 35, Psalm uh, 
37, Psalm 54, Psalm 55, Psalm 63, Psalm 58, Psalm 91, and Psalm 137. You can use any prayers or incantation you want. I'm just showing you the traditional way that we use in Puerto Rican and Hispanic brew. Area. The next thing is to, after the nine days, is to get rid of this bomba before it explodes in your face. So here is La Bomba Santera. Well, I'm sorry. La Bomba Bruja. La, la Bomba de Brujería. La Bomba Bruja. The Witch's Bomb. So now I'm heading to get rid of uh, this bomba. Passing through these willows, sauco trees, and to get rid of this bomba after the nine days have passed. So it's hard to see, it's hard to see because it's dark of night, but here's la bomba. Pass it through your body. A lot of uh, espirititas, they brujos, they put uh, into a brown bag and they cross themselves, they pass it through their aura and they dump it into the water and pay the spirits la derecho and walk home into a different direction. Now, whenever I do a trabajo such as this, after I am finished, I pray, I cleanse myself, and I purify myself. Uh, in Matthew 27, 24, it says that Pontius Pilate washed his hands. Okay? So, Poncho Pilato se lavó las manos. So, I'm going to use some sea salt. I'll put three drops. And I'm going to use some holy water. And I'm going to mix it. this yo me lavo I will wash my hands I usually wash my hands both hands together but since I am recording I wash my hands me lavo las manos como Poncho Pilato this is Ancista Brujo Luis I hope you enjoyed this video if you did please uh, hit that like button please subscribe please leave a comment down below uh, thank you very much Sancista Sancista Brujo Luis, me lavo la mano de cualquier todo pecado, como Poncho Pilato. Mm.